Well, good evening. It is Friday night here in Belgrade and we're going to our first ever Christmas markets together. We've been in Belgrade for quite some time, as you know, but they're just really sort of coming to life now because Christmas is actually celebrated on the 7th of January here, whereas obviously we celebrate it on the 25th. Uh, but it's been really interesting. They're still building stuff. I think some of it's going to be for early January, but also for New Year's Eve, because if we come to the center of town here, we can see some construction taking place. And I think this is going to be a stage for New Year's. Um, I, me and Hannah were kind of hoping that it was going to be an ice skating rink that they were building. Because just over by the statue there, goes round in a big circle. And I thought that would have been a really cool ice rink. But nonetheless, uh, the, the markets are sort of spread over Belgrade. So we'll show you a few of the things. We'll get some uh, mulled wine, um, chimney cake I think they have as well. Lots of lollies, just whatever Christmas stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll show you what it's like. There he is, the man himself, the big man. Oh, there's two of them. Just picked up a chimney cake. It was cinnamon sugar around the outside and vanilla cream on the inside. Santa's going crazy with the bell. It's uh, slowly coming to life, which is good. Uh, 300 Serbian dinar, so like two euros, two US dollars. Not too bad. Um, the lights are on. It's pretty good because I think it's like 4.30 here. So the lights come on very early and the Christmas markets go forever at night time. And uh, first bite. I don't know whether I like the <laughs> Rudolph here. Oh. <laughs> Got a bit of shit. Bit of cinnamon here. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. I'm gonna get I'm gonna start getting more of these. Cinnamon's really nice and the cream's equally as nice. This is like the perfect dessert to have at it's probably two or three degrees outside. It's not too cold, but um, the colder it gets, I'm sure the nicer these taste because these are still quite warm. When he was putting the cream on, I was a little bit concerned because it looks a bit yellowy and I was like, oh, I was kind of expecting whipped cream, but this is, this is as nice as I've had this. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Very good, um, excellent value here at the Belgrade Christmas markets. All right, so we've just come to the other side of the main street now where there's some more markets. Had to do a little detour to the shopping center toilets because I spilt half the chimney cake down my jacket. Oh, it was still a delicious cake, so we're gonna try some wine now and some meats as well, so. Oh, and they're still building this thing as well, which will be quite cool when it's completed. Flavors hit you at once. Very nice on a cold day. Mm. Do you reckon there's grapefruit in that? It tastes like there's grapefruit in here. Mm. I think the most uh, amazing thing about this is just the fact that it's warm wine, which is not something we really have in Australia. Mm. It's um. Very fruity and 
bit of sugar in there, I would say. Yeah, that, lots of sugar and definitely a bit of fruit. And that was, they were two, about 200 each. 200 each. Different sizes, but that's still a decent amount for just over one euro. Walking around some of the stalls looking for a good pairing for the mulled wine and I think I've found it. This is actually a beer sausage. So I'll have a little bite. I'll tell you what it tastes like. Um, I've already had a little bite. Still trying to figure out what it tastes like. I would say it's just a pretty standard sausage, but there's a little aftertaste of like your standard lager. So. Yeah, they have a few different types of sausages. They've got homemade sausages, the beer sausage I'm having here, uh, sausages and cheese, all that good stuff. Hopefully you enjoyed that very quick tour of the Belgrade Christmas market. Um, when everything's set up a little bit more, I'll do a walking tour so you get a better idea of how it really looks uh, when everything's built towards the end of the year. I just wanted to edit this one quickly and get it up before our Christmas. So yeah, here's a mini version of what is to come. But uh, yeah, really enjoyable night and we will see you guys in the next video.